Oh, he's got the mother load. He's got the mother load, look at that. He'll be eating high on the hog for weeks. He's gonna turn white. He's gonna stink like puffballs. <laughs> what do you have going on here? What, what's this all about? First of all, I'm not surprised to see you trying to fill my balls. <laughs> Puffball mushrooms. Holy cow. And I didn't get the big ones because I don't have room for them. Yeah, there are some monsters back there. This is dirt on here. If they start getting brown, that's bad news. Mm, press on them. Smell that. If you press on them, they're still firm. And when you cut into them, you want to make sure they're not brown as well. So I didn't pay much attention to these because what's everybody do when they're a kid, right? You go through the woods, what do you do? You Once they're them. dry, you kick them? You kick them. So I started doing some research, talking to some foragers last year, and they're like, oh, it's, it's good stuff. You need to eat them. If you cut them like a steak, take like a long bread knife and cut them one inch thick. Sorry, I'm out of breath here. I was hoofing it. And... Um, do not vacuum seal them. They will shrink. I mean, it'll suck them tight. It'd be no good. <laughs> so put them in like a gallon freezer bag and you can freeze these. And you can bread them and fry them. We've had them in soup, like a acorn squash squirrel soup before. It was awesome. I know it sounds weird. A lot of people think it sounds gross, but it was great. And so anytime I find these now, I'm a big fan of them. You just find them laying on the ground, huh? Yeah, a lot of people don't like the texture. It's, it's a love it or hate it texture. But I love it personally. No so. stem or anything. It's just it's just no, like actually, a ball you can pull it roll. off the ground. It's good. Like when you just pull it up, it actually rips off the stem. Oh really? And that's all your spores and everything. You just keep it there like you would a morel mushroom. Huh. So I love steak and mushrooms. So now I don't need to buy any mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Just get some venison steaks on the grill and we're good to go. Surely you could eat that raw too, right? I'm sure you could. You can eat raw Try mushrooms, it. but I mean I hate to damage them up. They're so pretty and in good shape. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> He's proud of his balls.